I grew up in Immokalee, Florida. In Immokalee, you know, football is life. It's a bunch of family. Everybody's akin to each other. Everybody knows each other. Immokalee High, you know, Immokalee High, that's, that's the only school that's there, you know, but that school, it, it brings out the best of you because of the fact that, you know, it's a, it's a football town. Everybody loves football. You know, that's what you do. Football is life around there. And, you know, to be successful there, you gotta, you gotta put in the work. And for me, I grew up not too far away from the high school and there was a football field probably two minutes from my house. And that's where I would do all my early morning work at. You know, I would get out there before everybody else, before school, get out there, put in some work just so I can have an advantage, you know. I've always wanted to have an edge on everybody else. You know, this, this area right here that we're looking at, this is where I first started playing ball. So yeah, this right here where we used to stay at over here. And right here, this is where we used to play football at. This was the football field before the real football field. You know, that was everything to me. That was everything we had, and so I really didn't know a difference. I didn't know that you had bigger places or you had things that were better, you know. This is how fast you can run through the house that we used to live in. So we used to live up in this joint right here. <laughs> now we're at the back of the house. That was pretty fast. <laughs> and until the day that I walked in this building, that was the first time I really looked at this place like, damn, like, Ma, we really came from here, you know? And I don't think people understand, you know, what it's like to actually live in some conditions that we lived in that were the norm. That, that was truly the norm, and it wasn't that big a deal. We started out with number three. We lived in there, it was two rooms. My bed was in front and their bed was at the back and there was a stove, a refrigerator, but we didn't have a bathroom. You know, so I took and bought this whole building and it could have been torn down, but I'd rather keep it because it has sentimental value. And then now you look back and you step back from the situation and you have houses that are 10,000 square feet plus, and you have multiple homes, and, and you start thinking back to like, man, I'm like, I really used to live right here. And there's no way I can, can even really explain, so I don't think nobody can ever understand unless you're coming from those conditions. So to even talk to my mom, I gotta tell my mom, like, mom, we, we really did it, you know? We did it. And if you don't celebrate yourself, or you don't celebrate the things that you've overcome, you know, you're doing yourself a disservice because that's what the American dream is. You know, that's what life is about. You know, you have to celebrate yourself. You have to step there and sometimes take a step back and say, man, dang, you know, you know I came a long way.